Today, we're building a house in The Sims, but only using wallpapers we hate. Or just generally find unappealing. The worst wallpapers. <laughs> okay. Ones I would burn to the ground. Okay, okay, we get it. I don't think you do. So we're going to start with the outside first. A bit of a weird shape to roof. Yeah, it's not that a porch can't fix. Well, what about back here? I'll use as many porches as I need to. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking questions at this time. Okay, well, time to find out our siding. I've made up a little wheel with some of the... I was gonna say best, but now I'm thinking worst applies better. <laughs> worst options that we have. If we get the spaceship one, I am respinning. I thought you'd be more worried about the dots. Oh, if we get that one, I'm walking. Wheel, 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 wheel. It's like sand? <laughs> I know you were just reading the name, but it actually worked as a question. <laughs> it's just like, Sand? sand? It is. Oh no. One sand castle coming up. Why do I actually like it though? <laughs> no, we have to actually make a house. We're going to make this work. We just have to figure out how. Hear me out. I'm hearing. I'm thinking one sec. Hear me out in like 10 minutes. Do you think this could read Adobe if we play our cards right? Oh my gosh. I love Adobe buildings. They're so freaking pretty. Me too. Yeah. We've never done one on the channel. We have to do that. Okay. Okay. We have a heading. Let's go to the desert so we can actually see if this looks right at all. Ah, uh, load screens. <laughs> Gotta love them. Now, what I actually love is the game that I get to play while I wait for stuff to load. And especially because that game happens to be today's sponsor, Heyday. Heyday is an ultra relaxing mobile game where you can build your very own farm from scratch. Here's our farm. Look how cute it is. What's going on with the chickens? Whoops, forgot to feed them. I can fix that. <laughs> They're drama queens. They're fine. <laughs> That's better. Not only is it a blast decorating your farm and selling and creating all of your produce, but they also have an amazing Easter event that's coming up. Everyone at level 17 will get a free egg maker. With these, you'll be able to craft eggs that you can actually sell to the ship at the dock to get these adorable chocolate bunnies. But they're not just adorable. They're for a great cause. Heyday is partnering with Fauna and Flora this Easter, which is an amazing charity that champions sustainable farming, conserving natural habitats, and safeguarding wildlife, which obviously goes hand in hand with the game. You can get involved by participating in the Easter event and joining the community bunny collecting goal of collecting 50,000 bunnies. To celebrate this event, Haiti will be donating $50,000 to Fauna and Flora. You get to play a fun game and help the animals? Sounds like a win-win. So you can go ahead and download the game today from the link that's in our description or the QR code that's on screen. So you can participate in the event March 18th through April 6th. And to help you get started, Heyday is gonna throw in a free Easter planner decoration and 15,000 coins that you can use on a bunch of super exciting in-game rewards. That second link is also gonna be in our description. Thank you so much to Heyday for sponsoring us and we're gonna be collecting as many bunnies as we can. Okay, I think we've put it off as long as possible. Let's get to these wallpapers. Fine. <laughs> does that read or does it read? Oh, it reads. I'm gonna add shutters. I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna add shutters. Oh, you're gonna add shutters. That's what I said. I don't think it was. The roof situation is actually quite easy now because I'm just gonna add this half wall around the entire top and then just use the same wallpaper up here. And? And what? Wait for it. <laughs> Probably just to make this cleaner, I'm gonna add in a, a porch. porch. There it is. All right, you may think you know all of my tricks. I do. <laughs> we'll see if you see this coming. I'm thinking round front porch. Round breaking. It's too bad half walls don't curve. I wanted a matching smaller wall around the front here. And nope, and nope, <laughs> and no. I was hoping if I kept trying, it would just do it. <laughs> is there a fence that matches? Honestly, what are the chances? Never mind, it's meant to be. I want to break it up with some more wood accents. More shutters? Done. No, 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 no. We have enough shutters. I was thinking maybe we get an awning up here. Kind of like a really big shutter. Does that make you like it more? Yes. And it's a very big shutter. I love it. Would it be kind of nice to have like a little height variation? I think you just got castles on the mind. No. Well, yes. <laughs> That's a given. <laughs> Would it be weird to add like a half wall section in the middle here that's like a little bit taller? I was questioning it, but I actually love that. In fact, I think we should add some more variation on this side too. Am I the roofer now? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Now we just mega hunk it up. Wow, what a bunch of hunks. You feel good about that. I actually hated it. I don't think I've ever said that word like unironically. I don't like it at all. Major ick unlocked. I'm thinking about adding like a cute detail back here, like some spandrels. spandrels. Now who's predictable? You can't use our telepathy against me. <laughs> That's against the twin code of conduct. Not the desert look stuff matching perfectly. I'm tempted to put the fireplace over here too, but it is a 
bit small. What if we use the side tables to extend the sides so it's like built-in bench seating or a place for plants? You had me at plants or built-in. I think you had me since the beginning. Just gonna kind of do a sparse grass-like deserty planting and a horse post. This house does not have a horse. Can't a place just be horse friendly? No place for a car here, but we've got your horse covered. <laughs> and that's The Sims 4 for you. <laughs> Okay, how did we pull this off? I know, right? Like after the initial shock of this wallpaper, everything came together really easy. I fear we may be using up all of our good luck out here. Or maybe this will just be easier than we thought. No, that's not it. Heading inside to the living room. And this one has some doozies. The dots are on here again? We could just skip the wheel and add them in since you're so excited. No, 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 I will take my chances on the wheel. Oh no, it's the Moschino one? I should have taken my chances. <laughs> For a fashion pack, the stuff is kinda odd quirky, but the colors are bad. A choice. I feel like the black and white is the easy way out though. We're not cowards. No. You know, the pink and teal is kind of giving Miami. We could maybe work with that. It's better than what we had. <laughs> At least it's an idea. I think it's helping to add in some natural tones like cane and rattan. And a flamingo chair. Perfect, tones everything down. Oh great, I'll add in another. Oh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love this four room dresser. Great, I'll add another one. Actually, though. Is everything just better with two? Price is nice. <laughs> the frame TV coming in clutch again. She's so the vibes. Yeah, gonna work off this for the rest of the room. Like a touch of gold, some plants. That's the only reason you're gonna add plants? Yep. The TV told me to. I have to do it. Well, nothing bad comes from that. <laughs> have we ever not used this hangy plant in a build? They need to give us more drippy plants. So you're saying it's their problem, not ours. Oh, it's always their problem. <laughs> Never ours. No. <laughs> are we thinking chandelier? We are. Ooh, spiky. In a good way or a bad way? I think in a good way. Okay, good. If you guys don't know, there's a debug basket in Jungle Adventure and it is so useful. Need a place to put your keys? Basket. Something in the middle of a coffee table? Basket. A bed? Let's just stick to the coffee table. Or is there something to that? You know, question for another day, I think. <laughs> and with one last flamingo, I think we're done. Actually pretty happy with the some plants we added. They added the wallpaper really well. So, would you use it again? Nope. <laughs> The whole idea of doing this is to give us more options. I like my old options. My goal is for you to like one of these by the end of this. Good luck. Next up, kitchen. And here's our tile wheel, which might be the worst one. Do they all have the dot one on them? Don't be silly. That did not answer my question. <laughs> Let's be <No. laughs> Tile patterns with wainscot paneling. I like some of those words. Well, what about this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these parenthood tiles should be cute, but somehow, aren't. I think it's the tile pattern. It just reads dated and ugly. Not dated and ugly. <laughs> Both. It just doesn't make sense. We're usually such wainscoting stands. You're right. The stuff goes against everything we stand for. <laughs> Wait, go back to that last one right quick. You mean the flesh colored one? Okay, gross. But I was more focused on the green. Like maybe this could look mid-century a bit. Oh, we could force it for sure. <laughs> Can and should. Also, executive decision. This kitchen is too long and we're going to wall this off for a pantry. Do it in your executive voice. <laughs> we're going to wall this off for a pantry. Mm, yes, I like that. <laughs> Power pose. It's actually a decent size. We could probably fit laundry in there too. Too many upper cabinets. It is a bit much. I think we could just leave the window area open. Or shelves. I agree. I think shelves would be a great idea. As long as we both agree. We have space for an island. I don't mind that. Or we could go peninsula. Or an archipelago. Okay, what even is an archipelago? <laughs> Just the hottest new design trend <laughs> coming this year, 2024. I do think the hangy shelf could look really mid-century and cool over the top though. What are you doing? Checking to see if you have shelf fever. I'm afraid you do. As long as it's not an actual fever, I'm fine. Ah, uh, y'all, we just got over being sick and controversial take, we hated it. <laughs> so brave to admit that. <laughs> I wish they would give us laundry machines that would go into cabinets. A seamless countertop would look so nice. Well, Con, I think I may have come down with your fever because what if we size up a couple of shelves here and all of our dreams come true? You actually scared me. You did come down with my fever this last time. <laughs> That's exactly how it went. It's bound to happen. Just twinting. Don't hate me, but I am going to shove this shelf up into this cabinet, though. What? Come on, look how perfectly that fits, and we don't have to decorate it. Fine. Cabinets are just shelves with doors, so I can let it slide. But just this once, the shelf <laughs> union will come for you, and I can't protect you. And that's the kitchen done. I actually genuinely love it. I know, me too. <laughs>
older horses. There's still a bunch of rooms to go. No, there's no horses in this house. I told this you this already. A horse friendly neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> to the dining room. Losing an option here hasn't made any of the other options look better. And oh, that is a pattern. We actually like all of the other maximalist wallpapers, but this one. We aren't geometric pattern people. Speak for yourself. I'm not a geometric pattern person. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> the dark navy is kind of moody and kind of fancy. Maybe we could get a fancy-ish fireplace on the wall over here. Ooh, I like the antique gold or brass. What's the difference? Brass is fancier. Oh, definitely brass then. <laughs> definitely brass. I'm thinking we do two one tile rooms on either side to frame it in. And then. And then. And then. <laughs> then. <laughs> then. <laughs> we put in some arches and cabinets, some backer cabinets, some shelves. And now we have built in display cabinets. Ah, the return of the shelves. But fancy. Are we cool adding in a different wallpaper in the little built ins here? Oh, for sure. As long as it's featured in the room, I think it counts. Oh, then we should have put the wallpaper in here and something better out here. <laughs> You're right. Change of plans. <laughs> we need something above the fireplace. Not that. All the mirrors I want are too small. We can't size them up, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Why not? You know, this big boy isn't so bad. We could put it in the back here and then raise it up with an iron key. Oh, and if we put the debug drippy plant up front, it kind of covers where the frame cuts off. <laughs> Probably a fire hazard, but a cute one. And that discounts it. Maybe we should add a table in here. Cool. Yeah. That's actually a pretty important part of the dining room. The two-tone navy on the walls is kind of inspiring me. You want more blue? I really do. It's going to be a little tough since this game has a thing against matching swatches. Do we have navy chairs? Oh, yup. And a rug? Yup. And I'm nervous to ask, but curtains without a weird pattern on them that actually fit? Incredibly, yes. <sighs> and these are the ones that come with the rod extender, so we can make it go all the way across. And an urn. I don't think that we should. And that's the dining room. This room is making me feel anything but blue. It really is nice. And fancy. So fancy. Bathroom time. This is going better than expected. <laughs> hey. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the cat tile. Well, we had a good run. <laughs> Get back here! Don't leave me! <laughs> Does this house even have a cat? They do now. At least, like, seven. This is bad. This is bad, 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 bad. <laughs> but admittedly, a little adorable. No, they are horrifying. <laughs> that one's got an iPhone. <laughs> Does he even have thumbs? <laughs> what does he need it for? At least base game has a tile that matches. Maybe we could just do that as a feature wall. Feature wall, more like the opposite. So a failure wall. <laughs> yes, one failure wall. Oh, these cabinets are nice. You know, the orangey wood kind of brings out the orange fur of that middle cat. And that's design. <laughs> I think we should lean more kids bath in here so we can just have fun with it. Oh, like bright blue sinks? Now that's fun. How do we funify the shower? It's looking real sad. I hate this blanket. Yeah. We could add a wall, but I can still see it on this side. Never satisfied, are you? <laughs> Honestly, no. Okay, then how about another wall here? And then a half wall at the bottom? Okay, that is pretty satisfying. Would it be too much to do the cat rug in here? Actually, I think it's kind of not enough. We need way more cat items. We hate decals, but we do have some bath cats. <laughs> Hairball. <laughs> I'm gonna make them look like paintings. I'm gonna take a frame and move it a little back into the wall, then take this autograph cardstock, flip it, make it big, put it in the frame, and lastly, put this decal right on top. Wallpaper and decals we hate, we should get bonus points. <laughs> we should. So since we've decided these people are cat people, should we get some pet stuff in here? I think we gotta. Can't have a cat bathroom without an actual cat bathroom. <laughs> Why does it look so happy? <laughs> <laughs> and that's one bathroom done. I do like it, but it does give off kid who was on Extreme Makeover Home Edition and told them they like cat's energy. <laughs> Oddly specific and yet so accurate. I kind of want to do the main bedroom next. I get so nervous every time you press spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not too bad. It's like a paneling of some kind. Yeah, except it's the weirdest colors you've ever seen. Cherry red, electric blue, or green screen green? Pick your poison. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> I say we go with the green because at least it's green. Doesn't deserve to be called green. It should be called gross. Off to a good start. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but the horse ranch bed does have a swatch that matches perfectly. <laughs> Scary. You know, I think the yellow in there helps calm it down a bit. Might not hurt to lean a little farmhouse in here too. Neon farmhouse. I think you've invented a new design aesthetic. <laughs> We've got 
plenty of room on this side to get like a desk and a dresser. I was thinking about stealing some space over here and adding in one of the in-game closets. Love that. Closets feel so much more natural to me than a wardrobe or a dresser. Totally. I just wish they had added them to more than one pack because only having like a couple of choices is really limiting. That's why we just build our own usually. That and because we have a clutter problem. <laughs> okay, well that's a totally different subject. <laughs> move on, move on. <laughs> I think it's connected. A desk under the window with all that natural light streaming in? I'd stay there all day. Probably you and all of the cats fighting over that sunspot. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that, but maybe we should give them like a bed over here just in case. Ugh, there's no way they're using that anyway. <laughs> yeah, cats don't really have beds, just like suggested sleep areas they ignore. I'm gonna give them the typewriter computer because I feel like the person who lives here is a writer. I mean, whoever decided to live in a house decorated like this has to be creative. So this all makes sense. Don't worry, everyone. I remembered the hamper. Hold your applause. <laughs> a lot of people watching just let out a huge sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep everyone in suspense wondering if it's gonna make it into the build just a bit. It's fun, right guys? See, it's fun or else. Our nightstand clock options are a little bit limited. Yeah, there's only like two, right? Mm. And the toaster. Of course. I would like to use the cottage living one, but the wall is currently holding it hostage. Maybe that's because it's a wall clock. It's more than that to me. It's an everywhere clock. Are you seriously trying to fight the game's physics right now? Yeah, and why won't it fight me back? Because <laughs> it's winning. Not for long. I'm going to delete the walls and then raise it up with the nine key. You definitely won. That looks great. <laughs> Not today, physics. And that's one fluorescent farm room done. Say that three times fast. Fluorescent, fluorescent farm, farm room, fluorescent, fluorescent farm room, fluorescent farm room. I don't even think I got it once. I don't even mind the green anymore. It's kind of cheery. Definitely brightens up the space for better or worse. On to the ensuite. Onward. Hmm. Smile. It's supposed to be fun. Every wallpaper we get makes the chances of getting the dots greater. I think there's some other ones on here you should be more worried about. Like the marble. Why are you whispering? So the wheel can't hear. <laughs> and of course it's marble. Seriously, what are the odds? <laughs> A lot higher since you taunted the wheel. <laughs> No, I don't want to. The problem is I want a marble wall tile, but this is the most extreme version of marble possible. It's like when something tries so hard to look expensive, it just ends up looking cheap. The moldings really don't help. Nothing helps. This might be weird, but I think the pink is our best option. Oh, I fear that is too much pink. You're too much pink. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> I wish the Sims team would give us the ability to put wallpaper on just like half the wall. Maybe we could get that look if we use the maximalist moldings and just find something to cover up here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe something like this medium painting that just fits perfectly like it was meant to be. Hold on. Suddenly I'm not hating this. <laughs> That's the bar we're at now. <laughs> just not <laughs> hating it. Okay, hear me out. Marble floors. We just got rid of the marble and you want to add more? Uh-huh. All right, sounds good. The pink cabinet choices are surprisingly lacking. Unless you want to go country. I mean, it just fits so well. I like this dresser. <coughs> I like this dresser. Do you want me to put sinks in it? Only if you want to or like whatever. <laughs> if you want to make functional sinks inside of dressers or other items, first you just make a basement, place your dresser and a light, raise it up using your nine key until it's right underneath your sinks. And there you go, dresser sinks. If you want something, sometimes you just have to do it yourself or get your sister to do it. Even better. The only problem with this is that there's no counter space to decorate. Unacceptable! <laughs> You're right. What about a faux shelf vanity situation? The cutest situation. Especially with this little cute pink stool. Cute. Shower or bathtub bathroom? Say it on three. One, two, three. Shower. Bathtub. Just kidding. It's a bathtub one, obviously. <laughs> I really thought we weren't on the same wavelength and I was very scared. Don't do that to me. Not only is this an obvious bathtub bathroom, but it's one of those bathtub bathrooms that has a chandelier. A bathelier. Is that the term? Yes. <laughs> I can't believe that I'm gonna say this, but does this feel blank? Somehow the busiest wallpaper in the world does feel like it's missing something. That's the perfect pick. Right? And doesn't the frame make it so classy? Quick question. Mm. Do you think more is more? In here, I think more is more is more is more. So are you down with adding a robe on the back of the door? More! And a light switch? Good enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it. A pink marble bathroom. <laughs> Never planned it, but now that it's here, not mad at it. Kids are time. What is this? The wheel? No, what is on the wheel? Oh, that? Um, I just knew you wanted this one so bad that I've decided to not leave it to chance. Is this why you said you would make the wheels? Let's spin! No, wait, too late. The wheel is already spinning. That's the rules. It could be anything. It's so exciting. Oh, wow. It's the dots. 
Who saw this coming? <laughs> you're so surprised you're speechless. Don't worry, I'll get it up on the walls. It's even worse. I thought that might get you talking. I'm so used to using this one as a joke and then changing it to something else. <laughs> it's real this time, baby. Fine, if we're doing this, we're doing this, and it's gonna be cute. Ooh, I like that bed with it. It's gonna be cute. Okay, I believe you. I think this bedroom's big enough we could get in too. I'm good with that. Maybe doubling down on the things that I like will make me forget about the things that I hate. We've got the rug that matches. Does it feel wrong? Yeah. Something about the shape or something. Oh, we haven't committed enough. What does that mean? To make the dots work, we have to embrace the dots. Why am I scared? We bring the walls to the ground and we layer a couple of these circle rugs. Oh, but that's kind of such a look. In terrible news, I think this could be working. We brought it to the floor, now to the ceiling. And that accent color. Like it or not, it does have all of the colors of the rest of the house in here. Pink, blue, and green. Just kind of mutated. You can't look at them too long, but they are there. It is nice to get to use things I thought we'd never get to use, like this balloon lamp. Looking on the bright side, huh? No. Huh? No, I huh? don't like that. That little cat plush is perfect. I think these girls might have a cat obsession. For sure. It's like when you're a kid and you find one thing you like and then you're doomed to receive something with that thing on it for every birthday and Christmas. And that's why the cat bathroom looks like that. Is this house starting to make sense or have I been staring at those dots for too long? <laughs> both. Gotta be both. I can see them when I close my eyes. This is Connie's sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> also, I don't know if it's the fact that our room as kids was this tealy color, but I feel like this room is in its preteen awkward stage. It's decorated from when you were a kid, but you're about to ask for your high school room makeover. Totally. And these wall pictures are like the first sign that something's changing. I think we have a little camera from high school years, right? Oh yeah. It's like a little instant camera. Yes. This is exactly right. Every teen girl has to have one of these. It's a Canon event or Polaroid. <laughs> Oh, it's getting late. Are you adding the most string lights you've ever added to a room to distract from the wallpaper? Well, I haven't even begun to add string lights. I'm gonna add in the canopy ones too. As you should. And is it just me or do they look like little dots? See, everything works. <laughs> okay, it's done. What do you really think? I kind of love it. <gasps> hey! I can't believe you didn't want to do this wallpaper so bad. Uh, that's not how I remember it. it turned out fine. <laughs> okay, okay, let's tour. Welcome to the you'll never guess what's inside of this place house. It really is like a Zillow house where the outside is so normal and then you click the next picture and you're like, what is this? You know, I ended up liking more of these than I thought I would. Yeah, me too, especially the kitchen. I was gonna say the kitchen. <laughs> but if you don't like them and want to play with this house, just play with the walls down. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a normal house. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to download it off the gallery, our ID is Karen and Connie. <laughs> All one word. Leave a comment. Tell us which room is your favorite. And make a case if you actually like one of these wallpapers. <laughs> yeah, defend yourself. How dare you? <laughs> also, give this video a like if you want to see more like it. We could do something like least favorite items or something. Or like most favorite items. Wouldn't you guys want to see that? <laughs> Don't you guys want to see our favorite things? <laughs> also, also, subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't forget, if you want to participate in the Heyday Easter event, you can start leveling up now. That link to download the game is going to be in our description. Okay, we're out of here. See you guys next week. Bye.